Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flashing label in Visual Basic 2008. So open up your Visual Basic 2008 and create a new application. Call whatever you want. Um, just you can do whatever you want with the form. I'm just just going to go to where it says form border style and click none and make the size 1024 and 768 that will maximize it and so first off add a label and go to properties change the font color for color not for color size font size to whatever you want and you can change it to whatever you want i'm just gonna name it thanks for watching for later okay format you can center it in the form if you want i just like having mine look neat now you're gonna have to add four timers also, I'm going to be showing you how to make a flash, the background color flash, and a sh uh, well, oval shape flash. So I'm just going to put the oval right next to it. You can put it up in the top corner if you want to, but I made this video before, and you couldn't see it. So just type what oh view code for the oval shape or the button or whatever you decide to use for the uh, close and just type end and that'll be fine go to the properties for the oval shape and right where it says back style change it to opaque and that's all you have to do for that no I'm just gonna organize mine timers timer 3 and timer 1 have to be enabled And all the timers have to be whatever interval you want, but make sure it's the same. I'm just going to do it 300 so it's easier to view. Okay. So I'm switching these back. Alright. Um, do the code for timer 1. Type label one dot four color equals color dot and then just you can scroll through these colors I'm just going to click white underneath that type oval shape one dot back color equals color and again you can scroll through any of the colors, but I'm going to click white again. Then type timer one dot enabled equals false, and timer two dot enabled equals true. Now open up code for timer two, and you can just copy what you typed earlier. Just change this color, or you'll just see the same color over and over again. So I'm just going to change it to black. And you can either just change this to true or false, or you can just change the number. What says timer 1 and timer 2. Okay, once you have that done, open up the code for timer 3. And type me dot back color equals color. Now you might want to do like the opposite color, or you just do whatever any color you want, really. But I'm just gonna type black, and then type. Sorry, type that wrong. Because if you type white, then the whole form is just gonna be white at the same time. Type timer three dot enabled 
equals false and timer for dot enabled equals true. Okay, now open up for uh, timer four. Just copy what you wrote before. Change this to whatever color you want. I'm just going to change it to white. And I'm going to change this to true. And this to false. Now, right now, you don't have to do anything special with this. But if you want, you can add another label. Just so people know that it's that's what it's there for. And you can, I'm just going to put, make it look like an, oops, shift X. So it's going to look like an X. You might have to move it with the arrow keys to it in the place you want. Now, go back to properties. And you're going to have to, so then, go back to form one design, not design, uh, code. You're gonna have to type label two dot four color equals color dot white. Make sure you also type label two dot back color. But make this the opposite, so I'm just going to type color black, color dot black. Okay, so I'll copy this. Put it here. But change this to black and this to white. Or whatever color you want. So now let's debug it. See, it's flashing. You can make it faster. And I messed up on this, but I have to rearrange it. Okay. It has to be opposite. This has to be black right here. And this has to be white. Sorry about that. And also, you have to change the code for label 2. So I'll go and design and double click the label and make sure that's end also. So now that button's flashing pretty good and or well the label and it says thanks for watching, so thanks for watching. Hope this tutorial helped you. Enjoy the rest of my videos.